back to a brand new YouTube video with me, the mayor of the town, of course. We are back for our spooky spook out season episode 3 and in this video I'm gonna recreate one of my favorite movies and characters of all time because who loves a Tim Burton moment? So if you want to see how to create this easy, magnificent, merry look, stay tuned. Right, so off to our next spooky adventure. So let's us do this. I'm gonna first off start off again by drawing the mouth portion first with a black pencil, eyeliner pencil. The reason why it's this time black is I don't know where my white one is. It just disappeared like the one just fall down the black one. So the Maya has quite a big bigger smile mouth so we're just gonna copy that and start by drawing off a big 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 mouth after you did the teeth portion and the mouth portion portion part section we're gonna start coloring the mouth. So we're gonna first off again start with the gums. Different from last time's mouth and gums, we're gonna do a very small gummy. You will see what I talk about just now. After we apply the gums, we're gonna do a very, very, very thin lip with black aqua paint just above the gum area just like a very thin black line just for the lips and fill that line in between the teeth also with the black aqua paint at the same time we are at it so now we're gonna go in with a white aqua paint and fill in the pearly white as they say the wind is very strong today So the mouth portion is done now, so the next step will be his one black eye. It's just like a circle. So go ahead and... Oh, so carefully... Draw in his one eye and then just color it in black. But I'm gonna do like a dark gray and then a black outline because when all the pictures I see of him, it's not completely back the eye. It's more of a, like a dark bluish grayish color and just, just one side of it is black. So I'm gonna follow that method. Okay, so that's that for the one. I just went ahead and put on a yellow pupil because why not? It has a yellow pupil. I am absolutely loving it. So now we're gonna go in for his actual shade, face foundation shade. So he's quite a peachy color um, little man. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to resemble a peachy little color little man for this man so I'm gonna mix like an off yellow and an orange together and see what concoction I get out of that and if I'm happy with the shade I'm gonna apply it onto my face my spider is missing to uh, not want to stay on me no and I lost one leg in this process Alright, so now I'm gonna go in again with the black cream paint. I'm starting to run out of it. It's fine, it's fine. I will just get new ones sometime. But we are just gonna make his head more um, pointy as it is in the movie. So just rip, cough out his head to make it look appear more pointy at the top you know because who doesn't love a pointy head 
to the top. Now with a smaller brush we can uh, draw in these other squiggly 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 eye. Why did I, I found it? So the next eye is going to be a squiggly eye which we're also going to use aqua paint. Like aqua paint and a small detailing brush. Now, I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to do this because I can't close my one eye and I'm going to try. Oh my word, I can't close my one eye and draw it squiggly on I on it. So do I wear a job than me? I I can't. <laughs> okay. I have her poop the squiggly eye. We're just gonna roll with it. We are not gonna judge it. We're gonna say how precious it is, you know, and build it up in life. His confidence. This eye feels a bit left out between this eye, but we, we are not gonna let him feel that way. We're gonna create this character and pull this eye up, okay? We feel sorry for him and we're gonna leave him as he is. But then we're gonna draw a little weird as triangle here on this part of the nose because the character has like a triangle nose and I have a human nose, so I'm gonna draw a triangle on the side of the nose. Just like that. So now that we are on the groove with the black um, aqua paint, we're gonna draw the the little lines underneath each of his eye. I think it's like eye bags or something. But it's just like that. You just drawing these little eye bags. All right, perfect. So now I'm gonna go in with a fluffy blending brush into the brightest pink you can find and made his little cheek blush bones that is just above his little smile so just add in his little cheeks with the pink shadow can I just say like this is one of my all-time favorite movies the Nightmare Before Christmas. I absolutely love this movie to bit. And I mean, who doesn't love it and bit and character moment? I love it. So I have wanted to do this character for so long and now I finally do it. I have done um, Jack the Skeleton, Pumpkin King, but I haven't done the Mayor yet. So this is my Mayor moment and I absolutely love it. I'm in love with the Meyer moment. It's it's fabulous. Dad, good move, my. This is the key elements of the Meyer done and Dustin. I mean, this is basically the look how the Meyer looks in the movie. But if you want to leave it here, you can. It's absolutely fine. But if you are me, I'm just gonna add in a, a little bit of shading here and there, just because it's me. I I. I love doing things more complicated than what it is. So, if you want to leave it here, you can. If you want to add in some of your own shading, it's also fine. One Maya completed. Done and dusted. For our spook out, spooky spook out season episode 3, easy makeup looks to do for your parties. I'm extremely happy at this very moment, point of time. <laughs>so much for watching this video i'm losing my spider but that's okay thank you for watching this video and season make sure to go watch the other episodes if you haven't already yet you are going to miss out i promise you <laughs> please subscribe to this channel hit the thumbs up button ring the notification bell and i'll see you all on our next spooky adventure